welcome to episode 2, part 12 on our Let's Play on Minecraft Storm World. Let's continue. That's why I'm standing up here today. Well, you guys ready then? Oh, yeah! This will be a way easier target than Magnus. Wait, what's going on? Oh, well, that's not good. Holy crap! Is that your Wither Storm? How are we? What are we? That's... Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Stop eating! Magnus, come on! You'll regret messing with Bob Town. Go! Dun, 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 dun. Griefer Madness. Hmm. Okay, just a little farther. Someone really went bonkers with the defenses, huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh. Who goes there? What, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, hey, we're back! I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Magnus! Fantastic! Wait, come on. You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Gabriel! Hello, everyone. It is good to see you. He showed up not too long before you guys. Thanks. You always were a tough cookie to keep down. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's good to see you, too. It's especially good to see you, Jesse. I fear that you might be the last face I ever saw. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. If you haven't pulled me out of the Witherstorm's clutches, well, let's just not think about that. I came here to the temple, hoping against hope to find other survivors. It makes me glad that even in these terrible times, this temple can stand as a stronghold. Similar. Did the Wither Storm leave anything? Is anything left of our home? That creature left of its witness bedrock. And those people. Fred Petra. No one could get away. We are the one left. That means there's still hope. Come along. Everyone else is still inside. Redstonia, 
and there were all these incredible engineers and inventors. It was a little intimidating, actually, but Elagard's made me her protege. Well, assistant for now. I mean, after what happened. I know, I'm sorry. So sorry. Redstonia? It's like a town devoted to nothing but engineering and invention. It's amazing. And I was pretty out of my league. She might have, well, embarrassed herself. A tiny bit. Yeah. But after I pled my case, she agreed to take me on as her assistant and come back to help. Not bad, right? Oh, hooray! It's Ellie. And here I was just starting to enjoy myself. Hello, Magnus. Your voice is exactly as pleasant as I remember. Which is to say, not at all. Oh, my feelings. Is that the same wit you're going to use to save the world? Why? You're here to tell me how to do it better? Oh, I would never dream of doing that. Unlike you, I actually do things instead of just talking about them. Hey, that's Eligard you're talking to. Show her some respect. Wow, you finally found yourself a live one. Hey, your little devotees are usually a little more on the bookish side. Olivia, I just stay out of this. But your friend's right, Olivia. It's just what I know my own. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry winter storm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. Yeah, I'll admit, that thing looked real nasty. But I've seen some nasty stuff in my time. Too much for you, was it? Your usual brutish approach didn't cut it? Hey, you weren't there, all right? You didn't see how this thing just tore everything up. Would you two stop? Fighting! Whoa! Yikes. Just excuse the truth. We must find a way to defeat that monstrosity. I don't know if you've looked around yet, but this place isn't nearly the stronghold it used to be. Most of our supplies are gone. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. And I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Aren't they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that yet. But even if we had all the TNT for miles around, I don't know if it would be enough. If only Soren were here. He might have something we could use. Oh, hell, not this thing. Wait, Magnus. You may have a point. Soren did have certain objects, inventions. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. There's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT, stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. A formidable bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F bomb before. F bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F bomb could destroy anything. Well, the formidable bomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. You don't know where Soren is. Another guard. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether. In the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times. It always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any point. Let's stop hanging around here and go get us some 
Super TNT. Whoa. It didn't do that before. Lou? That's Ivor. Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move. Not too far. We can probably make it on foot. Perfect. We can wait till tomorrow morning and travel with a full day's sunlight. Uh, and where's that thing catching up with us? I think I've had enough withers from the one day. Uh, thank you very much. Right, because getting caught out there in the dark is so much better. Trust me. If you had seen this thing, you wouldn't want to stick around. Yeah, I don't want the weather storm catching up with us. We should go now. Jesse here is talking a lot of sense. Let's just go with that. You're just saying that because it's your plan, but... Fine. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hey, hey, hands off the merchandise. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Jesse, right? Oh, hello. We haven't had the chance to acquaint ourselves properly. According to Gabriel, you saved him from this wither storm. Sounds like you're a pretty impressive individual. Picks fights with lots of monsters? Always defending the weak and defenseless? Just doing my best to keep everyone safe. I can always appreciate humility. I like that. In any case, I sort of wish that you would take my side earlier. But water under the bridge and all that. A slight tangent. See a deal with your friend Olivia. I appreciate her enthusiasm, but she can be a little much sometimes. She's always very eager to jump in and help. Which is sweet, of course, though sometimes I wish she would think a bit more before jumping in. I don't know if you caught this, but she's like your biggest fan. Probably just make her nervous. That's an excellent point. I haven't thought about that. Seems like you respect her a lot. Why didn't you listen to her plan to come and recruit me? Not to make it awkward or anything. Or to demand, why didn't you want to recruit me? <laughs> just... Curiosity. I suppose I can infer the answer to my question from this awkward silence. I'll do my best to not let it hurt my feelings. <laughs> joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. Dinner, 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 at least the weather storm isn't tearing us apart right now, all right? Dinner, dinner, dinner. Oh my Jesus Christ! I could swap weapons. Swap my weapon! Swap. Anyways guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.